Welcome to the arc length video tutorial. In these examples, we'll be showing you Maple's powerful arc length tutor, and we'll also show you how to use and write the arc length formula. Example one, determine the length of the arc y equals x squared between the points 0, 0 and 1, 1. Step one, load the package student calculus one, and this can be done by going to tools, load package, and student calculus one. On the line below, step two, write the function in math mode. Just make sure you're in math mode by clicking on this symbol over here. And continue to write the function f at x equals x squared, which is a parabola. Step three, go to context menu and right hand side. Select right hand side right there. And now we have the right side of the equation. Step four, Go to context menu again, go to tutors, calculus single variable, and arc lengths. Here we have the arc length tutor that has just popped up. Let's just drag it over here to the right. Now the graph that it provides here on the left is very useful. f at x equals x squared. The curve is in red. The integrand which is between the integral sign and the dx, um, this entire square root, is in blue. And the arc length function itself is in green. Now we're dealing with the arc length between the points x equals 0 and x equals 1. So let's modify the beginning and ending of the graph. So x equals 0, or a equals 0, and b equals 1. Click on display and Maple outputs the answer and a, and a new graph between x equals 0 and x equals 1 of the parabola. The arc length is approximately 1.48 units. Let's highlight this output, press Control C to copy this, and close the tutor. And just go on the line below and paste the output by pressing Control V and click on yes. And there we have it, our full solution to that problem. Now let's move on to example two. Determine the length of the arc y equals x squared as a function of t, taking 0, 0 as the starting point. Step one, using the function template in the expression palette, enter the function. The expression palette is over here on the left. And this is the function template. Just click on it, and the function f, press tab to go to the right, is in terms of x, and press tab again, and the function is equal to x squared, and just hit enter. Now the function has, in, has been entered, and step two, using the definite integral from the expression palette, enter the arc length formula in terms of t. So before we use the indefinite integral, let's first define the function our arc length function, and since it's the arc length, let's use L, and it's in, press tab, it's in terms of T, press tab again, let's take out the Y, and insert the definite integral from the expression palette, and the lower bound of integration is from the zero, the starting point, press tab to fill out the uh, upper bound of integration, which is t. Press tab again, and now we can write the integrand, which is the square root, and you can get the square root from the expression palette, the square root of 1 plus f primed of x. Now, how do we enter in the prime? That's really interesting. Just go to the palettes, the palettes doc, and open up the context menu, go to show palette, and select punctuation. And the punctuation palette opens up on the bottom here. And this is the prime right here. So just click on that. And you can notice that now we have f primed and continue writing the rest. f primed of x squared. Press tab. And we are integrating with respect to x. And hit enter. And now you can just write the function again, 
L of t. Okay. And there's our arc length formula. That's what it's equal to. And let's do some uh, trial values, L of 0. And we know that our initial starting point is x equals 0, so we obviously expect that the arc length will be 0. And that's good. Now let's verify our, our answer from example 1. So from x equals 0 to x equals 1, our answer was approximately uh, 1.48 or so. So let's try the arc length of 1. Enter and go to the context menu and approximate with any number of digits. And yes, that was exactly our answer, 1.48 units. Thank you for viewing the Maple Adoption Program's arc length video tutorial.